everyone. Welcome to part two of my Kotlin tutorial series. We're going to be going over um, some control flow. So this includes if else statements and we're going to learn how to do some uh, comparative operations. Okay, so getting into it, um, we have um, from the last video, we have my bool, which is false. We, we're going to go ahead and actually, um, since we already know what we're doing, we're just going to set it already to false. So actually, we're going to set it to true. Oops. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to implement an if statement. So if my bool equals true. So instead of this is assigning it, this equals is assigning it, this is comparing it. So we have my bool being compared with true. So if my bool is equal to true, then we're going to make some curly brackets, and so inside of this if statement, we will do something. Print, we'll go ahead and print line um, it's true. And so we can do, and then we can say else print line. It's false. Okay. So now we can go ahead and run this. And it's true. There we go. So, and it says that because if my bool is true, then it will do whatever's inside of these these curly brackets. If it is not, then it will do whatever is inside of these brackets as else statement. So we can go ahead and set that to false. All right, there we go. Now it's false. So now let's say this looks, it looks bad to be honest with you. And the reason this looks bad is because we can actually simplify this even further. So if my bool, so if this is true, then we're going to say is true. So, but it is not. So essentially what we can do is just by saying um, my Boolean um, just by just by um, putting this in the if statement, it will test if it is true. So we can use so there's a, there's a couple of um, operator comparative operators. So um, by the way, two slashes can comment out a line of code. So we have the equals equals, which essentially compares if it is um, if the value is equal to the following value. You also have um, is not equals. So this exclamation point um, test to see if it is actually not equal to. And then of course you have um, less than, greater than, or what you can also do is um, less than or equal to as well as greater than or equal to. And so we'll actually implement these here in a minute. But um, for right now, we're going to focus on these two since we're dealing with Boolean values. So um, we could say, so this right here in this if statement is the exact same as saying this. So then what if we want to say is false? Okay, how would we simplify that? By the way, let's go ahead and change that. 
How do we want to simplify this? Well, we could actually do just like what we did before. However, since that equals true, we can just use this to precede it. And that will equal false. So let's go ahead and run it again. And there you have it. So this is not, you can think of this as um, essentially saying not. So if this is not true, then print line equals false. All right, so uh, definitely play around with this a little bit. It might take some getting used to. This is, this is um, uh, it can be fairly odd starting um, or getting used to this a little uh, at least, but it is very important to understand how, um, how this works, especially um, when making Android apps. So let's um, let's implement a variable. Uh, see right here, it's saying that uh, we could actually make this immutable since we're not changing it. So we're going to go ahead and change that to val. Same thing here. We're actually not going to be um, changing this variable either. So my int equals do five. Okay. So now my int, let's say if that is equal to five, we can say it's five and then it's not five. Okay. So now we can run this. And there you go. It's five. However, what if we wanted to say if it is greater than or equal to five, it's at least five. So this should, it will hit at least five because it is, it is greater than or equal to five. In this case, it is actually equal to five, but having greater than or equal to covers um, that as well. So it is at least five. Now, what if we did less than or equal to five? It would of course hit because it is still five, most five. Okay, so what if we wanna try multiple statements? Um, if it is, five let's do if it is yeah if it's five so if my int is equal to three it's we're just gonna say it's three and then well we want to add more um we want to add more conditions so instead of just saying else we could actually say We'll just delete this and say else if, and then my int is equal to four. We can do the same thing here and just say it's four and then else we can just do print line and say it's not three or four. Cool. All right. So we go ahead and run it. And it is not, of course, three or four. So let's set some breakpoints here. So these breakpoints will actually help us if uh, help us um, figure out where the code is hitting let's set them everywhere actually this is obnoxious but it'll help us see kind of what how this code is actually running all right so we actually ran the code we hit this debug icon up here and um, our first breakpoint hit so now it's going to say if so it's running this if my int is equal to three see right here it has our value 
my int is equal to 5. So let's go to the next breakpoint with this button right here. So it's going to skip over this. It's not going to execute this command. Now it's going to test and see if my int is equal to 4. And of course it is not. So we are going to skip over that. And of course else it is going to print. It is not 3 or 4. All right, well, we went over the if else statement and we um, took a look and see how we can compare our values of our variables. And in the next video, we're going to uh, go over loops and a little bit more extensively in Kotlin. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Thank you.